Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm running a short devotional on each chapter of the Bible and then sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Exodus chapter 35. Taking time to rest is an important part of your mental and spiritual health, as well as your physical well-being. So much of experiencing Jesus' promise of abundant life is learning to live in rhythm with God's plan for work, for rest, and for play. Exodus chapter 35 is a significant chapter as the description of the work of the tabernacle begins. But God wants to make one thing perfectly clear to his people. Rest is a priority. God reminds his people to work with a new ethic and no longer as the slaves of Egypt. Listen to how this section begins in Exodus chapter 35 verses 1 to 2. Then Moses assembled all the congregation of the sons of Israel and said to them, These are the things that the Lord has commanded you to do. For six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a holy day, a Sabbath of complete rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. Wow. It should not surprise us that this is God's first reminder to all the congregation of his people. God leads off with grace because good works are meant to flow out of a relationship with God, not earn favor with God. Paul taught this to New Covenant believers in Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of work, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Seize the moment and prioritize God's grace in your life by setting apart a day for rest. Your well-being is dependent on you living in the unforced rhythms of God's grace in every area of your humanity, your work, your play, and your rest. Seize the moment.